Welcome to Obsidian TTRPGTutorials.com. Let's learn how to use the tool. All right, g'day guys, and welcome back today to another Obsidian video. Today we're gonna to be having another look at Pathfinder 2nd Edition, uh, specifically diving deeper into monsters. Now, in my previous video, we went, walked through how to use Foundry to export content from Foundry into Obsidian. And doing that, we're able to get our hands on the monsters, which is a fantastic addition. As you can see in front of me here, I am in Foundry currently, and I have a monster. And I want to let you in on a little secret. A couple of weeks ago, I was considering giving up using Obsidian for my monster management and my combat management. All right, and the reason why I was doing that is it was just so easy to use Foundry, okay? Like the monsters are here. And something I really liked about it was the ability to add this elite or weak all right, template over on top of the things that I'm doing. I thought this was a really fantastic addition to uh, be able to do that so automatically. Now, if you're not familiar with the Elite and the Week, all right, we can come here and you can have a look in the Monster Core book, uh, which is the latest monster book to hit the shelves. Um, and you can see the Elite adjustment is documented down here. All right, so increases the creature level by one, increase the creature's AC, increase the damage of strikes and other offensive abilities by two, and increase the creature's hit points based on the table below. We can also do weak, all right? So it decreases the, the creature's level by one, it decreases the AC, it decreases the damage, and it decreases the HP. All right, and that's a really fantastic thing. And obviously anyone who's played Pathfinder Second Edition would know that the system is really tightly tuned, okay? In terms of how the maths works, um, and how successfully um, sort of balanced the system is. It's very mathematically uh, sound and it works really well. So having the ability to add in elite and weak is actually really useful in the situation because if the, the um, encounter's a little bit weak, you can just basically tune it a little bit with these buttons. And I thought that was a fantastic thing. But I played with it and I really didn't like the way I have to manage combat in Foundry, if I'm honest. All right, you have to add tokens to your screen and you, you manage the HP through the tokens and you, you, yeah, it just, it was too much. I don't need all of that. So I really wanted to keep going uh, with using Obsidian in that regards. Now, I would have said that Obsidian was getting difficult in the Pathfinder 2E space, okay, because uh, the data sources that we'd historically used were not getting updated anymore with the remaster content coming out. But this is where we need to introduce you to Most Torn Brain. Most Torn Brain has been jumping into our community and providing his assistance and support in solving these problems that we had with the PF2E data. Primarily, he's provided us tools and ways to move the content from Foundry into Obsidian. Now, obviously you'd be aware of Farling created the original version of some of these plugins, but Most Torn Brain is just polishing it for Pathfinder, and now he's taking it even further and expanding upon that polish with additional functionality. So specifically, where we've used the PF2E MD exporter to create the monsters, um, we now have a new plugin available that basically allows you to go forth and update those monsters to elite or to weak templates. So if we come through here to repositories, all right, come down here to Monster Mash, all right, we can see the PF2E Creature Adjuster. Now, I just wanna make a, a comment here. It's called Monster Mash originally here. This plugin has already been renamed to PF2E Creature Adjuster. Um, that's um, because it's going through the process of being approved for the actual Obsidian uh, plugin community database, all right? so. In the future, you're gonna be able to come in here and actually come into community plugins and browse and hopefully just type PF2E in and there'll be the monster adjuster here for you to install. Um, unfortunately, at this point of time, that is not available because it's not yet approved. So we're gonna to have to go through and install this with Brat, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to need to grab this URL and install it by Brat. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is get the prerequisites out the way. We're gonna need Brat installed, okay? So we're gonna go down to settings, we're gonna come here to community plugins, we're gonna make sure community plugins are enabled and then click browse, and in here we're going to type Brat. Brat, by TFT Hacker, we've been through this in previous videos. Beta Reviewers Auto Update Tester is what Brat stands for, and it's basically a plugin that lets us install plugins that are not available in this actual uh, repo yet. 
All right, so all these community plugins are approved by Obsidian. Um, and it's quite often that you'll come across uh, plugins that either haven't been approved yet or maybe the developer just doesn't want to get it approved and they just leave it external. Regardless, you can use Brat to go ahead and do the install. All right, so go ahead here, click install. Once it's done, click enable. And what that's going to do, if we come back to Obsidian, is create this little face over on the left. All right, we're looking for that little Brat face. And what you do is you click it and you come up with this option here. And there's an option here we can go plugins, add a beta plugin for testing. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, and the idea is that we get a re uh, repository uh, URL. All right, so all plugins are generally kept on GitHub. A GitHub repository is the name of the thing where we keep it. All right, so what we do is we go back to the repository. We, uh, we find most torn brain on GitHub. All right, we go to the Monster Mash repository. All right, and we grab the URL. We copy that and we come back here and we paste it. All right, and we go add plugin. All right, mine's already in the list for beta testing, so mine's going to error out, um, but that's okay. All right, it's you know, you're going to go through a different process and it's going to be enabled, and that will give you the ability to use this plugin. Now, while we're there though, let's just jump back here, and as I always say with my videos, always go through the README of the plugins that you're using. All right, I've seen some questions come up. Are Josh's videos most up to date or should I use the, the official documentation? My advice to you is always going to be to use the official documentation. I wanna be clear, I'm a third party downstream tutorial creator, all right? That means that I am not up to date with everything that changes because things change constantly. Um, the developers are sometimes pushing multiple updates a day. All right, my videos don't get updated that often. All right, but this is an Obsidian plugin designed to work with existing Pathfinder 2E monster stat blocks. It provides the ability to create a new note based on currently viewed monster to make it elite or weak per the PF2E rules. All right, so this is really, really easy for us to use. All right, so let's jump in now. We've had it installed. Let's go through and show you how to use it. Okay, so here we are in Obsidian. We've got the plugin installed and we're ready to start using some monsters at our table. We've come across a situation where a normal serpent folk here is not going to work and we want the elite or the weak, what do we do? All right, it's quite easy. We open up the note for this monster. Okay, so come in here and actually open up the note from your bestiary folder. Uh, click the little open command palette button and just type in elite. PF2E creature adjuster elite monster upgrade comes up and we can press that. All right, that creates a new note all right, with the elite um, template that's been added. All right, so let's go ahead and let's just, we'll control click this to open up two windows side by side. And I'll just hide this here. And we're just gonna go through and have a look at them together. All right, so on the right, we have the normal version. On the left, we have the creature uh, elite version. I'm actually just gonna, from this normal version, create a weak one as well. All right, so we can just do the same thing, open the command palette and type weak. All right, and then that comes up, we click the button, and now we have a weak option as well. So let's add that to a third screen. Did I just open up the wrong one? I've opened up the weak twice, here we go. All right, so now we've got weak, normal, elite. All right, we can see here, the creature level is two, three, and four. Uh, the HP is 45, 60, and 75. Uh, the damage, let's have a look at the knife here. I've uh, got a plus 9, plus 11, plus 13, and damage is ranging from 1d6 plus 4, 1d6 plus 6, 1d6 plus 8. If we have a look at the fangs, we can see the same damage is replicated, so it looks like that's all working really well. Um, yeah, it's, it's looking really lovely. Now, I've got to admit, I'm pretty impressed, all right? So... The ability for a, a plugin to go through and scrape this note and update the text is impressive in itself, but the fact that he's made this actually work with like the damage where it goes um, through the actual text of the uh, ability and figures out what needs to be updated and applies that, I think that's really clever. So I just want to say a round of applause. Like that's, that's fantastic. Well done. All right. So yeah, here we go. We've got easy, weak, normal, and elite uh, monsters. It creates that note so that we can use it in the future. 
all right? And I think that's obviously a very strong uh, addition to the bestiary that we have currently available. All right, but let's go through and let's see how we can utilize this at our table a little bit more. Uh, we'll close these ones down now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up one of these adventures that I've been putting in. Um, let's have a look at Rust Henge. And if we expand that out, have a look at maybe Kindred Crossing. There we go. So the Kindred Crossing has a, an encounter here. Oh, we've got the Hanover Gremlin. All right, we'll close that. Hanover Gremlin, and we've also got a Reef Claw being used. Now, what if we want to make the Hanover Gremlin uh, Elite? Now, there's no way to do that from here directly, right? You can't click this note and open that note. Um, but what we can do is we can type in the Hanover Gremlin and create a link to it from here. And what I would do here is then come into this note, uh, open the command palette, go Elite. That creates the Elite version. All right. And then if we come back to where we were, we can adjust our thing here to have an Elite Hanover Gremlin. Now, there we go. Elite Hanover Gremlin. We can now basically trigger that and the Elite is there and we can run that through the Initiative Tracker plugin and obviously manage our combat. And you saw how quickly and easy like that, that just worked, right? Um, I would usually set these things up beforehand, if I'm honest. Um, usually I'll try and create my encounters so they're balanced and I'll do that ahead of time. Um, but, you know, if I needed to do that at the table, I think that was, you know, a 10 second process. It really didn't take long at all. Now, just a quick call out to let you know that there is another way to trigger these, um, these upgrades. All right, if we come down to settings and we go to hotkeys, if you type PF2E in here, we can actually see there's options here for the PF2E creature adjuster, elite upgrade and the weak monster upgrade. So I can press this button. Uh, this is for a elite and we can go, I'm gonna do Alt Q. And then for a weak monster, I can do an Alt Q, or Alt W, sorry. All right, so they've set hotkeys for these as well. All right, so therefore what I can actually do, and I think I've already got one of these here. So let me just bring up a Monster. Where am I going to go? We will come to here. Mechanics. Bestiary. Let's go into here. We've got an Adamantite Golem. Alright, we're going to press Alt W for a week. Alright, there we go. Or Alt Q for an Elite. Oh, you've got to do it from the original note. Alt Q. There we go, that's how easy it is if you make the hotkeys, right? So you don't even need to come over here and open the command palette. That might make it easier for some people depending on how you like to work. All right, so there we go. That has been the PF2E Creature Adjuster plugin, uh, hopefully coming to the, uh, the um, plugin market soon so you'll be able to install it a lot easier. Uh, very, very easy to use um, and a fantastic addition to the tool, let's be honest. Uh, for me, this has really polished out the last sort of concern I had with using Obsidian to run my combat. I did feel previously that the lack of an Elite or Weak templates, uh, the easy ability to add that was really sort of like something that would, would bug me. But now that we have that capability, like I'm so happy. So massive, huge thanks to Most Torn Brain. Like your work on this has been superb um, and I'm sure the community will find it absolutely useful. So thank you. Anyway, guys, that has been another tutorial. Hopefully you find this useful. Uh, I will update the Obsidian TTRPG tutorials.com site uh, with links to this new site. And obviously if you're new to Obsidian and jumping in, please jump over to this site. It's where I consolidate all of my tutorials um, and have additional content to try help you obviously learn through, um, you know, the, the, the wealth of things that you can do with this tool. All right, there's so much you can do with this tool, um, but just as a reminder, it's up to you to control how deep down the rabbit hole you go. Uh, Obsidian can be a very simple note-taking tool, or you can create computer games with it. All right, I don't recommend you create computer games with it, but I have seen people doing it. It's, it's crazy. All right, with that, I wanna say a huge and massive shout out to the community, a big thanks to my Patreon supporters. All right, my Patreon link is here for anyone who would like to support me make more content. You guys are amazing. I think I just hit a million views on YouTube, which has completely blown me away. 
Um, so yeah, thank you. That is absolutely amazing. And for all your help, please do jump into the Obsidian TTRPG community Discord. Like, if you're getting stuck or if you just want to be more active in the community, this is where we all are, all right? And you can find some fantastic help in that server. All right, outside of that, I will speak to you all on the socials. Have a great day. Enjoy.